Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll talk about the transition bins with respect to system Verilog functional coverage. Okay, so let me explain you with the help of a simple FSM example so that you will get the clear picture of this concept. So basically this transition bins is helpful when we are checking the state transition from one state to another. Okay, so for that let me explain you a very you know, simple FSM. So what we are considering as you can see on the screen, we are taking uh, this two state FSM okay, S0 and S1. So let me explain you the FSM first and we will then we'll jump to the code. So if the reset is there, high reset, active high reset is okay. So if a reset is there, the state will be S0. Okay. And let's say if we are at the state S0 and the input is 1. So X is the input for us, right? So it will go to the S1 state. The state is changing here and the output will be 0. If it is there in S1 state, and the input is 0, it will remain in the same state S1 and output will be 0. If in S1 state input is 1, then it will change it, its state from S1 to S0 and output will be 1 over. And in S0 state, when the input is 0, it will remain in the S0 state and the output will be 0 over. So this is what a simple melee FSM, two state FSM we are considering to work to get the clear picture of the transition. Okay. So let me show you the code for that. Okay. Let me show you the uh, simple DUT which is I have I have written in the system very log HDL. So let's consider this diagram as a black box for us. We have the clock then reset x is the input and y is the output for us. Now for this FSM, whatever we we have just saw the FSM, for that if we want to write the HDL code using system Verilog HDL, then how the code we can write, I will explain that. So module melee FSM and in module, inside this we are using a two segment FSM. You can easily use three segment or one segment FSM. So I hope you are aware about the coding style of FSM. Now input and output, I'm declaring them as a logic type, logic input reset clock and X and the output logic Y. Now here I'm using a type diff, you know, enum data type in order to initialize these states as zero in this one. And I'm declaring the name states and for this state variable i'm declaring present state and next state again. now the present state logic is a sequential logic as you are aware so always underscore ff at the rate usage of the clock synchronous reset we are considering if reset is there present state will be a zero and is if uh, else meaning the reset is zero then the present state will be next state now the next state and the output logic, as I told you that we are using two segment FSM coding, you can use three segments. So for that, always underscore comp begin in <clears throat> inside that I'm using the case constant for present state. If the present state is S0, we are you know, making the output as a default zero. If S0 state is there and input is one, the next state will be S1, else the next state will be S0. Same thing, whatever we have saw this FSM. Right? Now, if we are in S1 state and the input is 1, the next state will be S0 and output here is 1, right? So if you see S1 state and input is 1, it is going to the S0 state and output will be 1. Okay, else the next state will be S1 only, meaning if the input is 0 in the S1, if the input is 0, it will be S0 state only and output will be 0, as you can see. 
now the default default we are using next step will be as zero and output is equal to zero end case end and end model very simple okay now for this if we want to write a simple you know linear test bench how to write and we'll see the coverage model with the help of the transition bins now the module fsm tb tb fsm you can give any name logic i am declaring all the signals as logic type over here and here we are making a dot instantiation so name of the rtl module and the instance is due to in dot star it will make the connection with cover to rt now here i am generating a clock always hash 5 clock is equal to mod of 2 now we will see the interesting part over here. so what we are interested here if the input is 1 we are interested to check the transition from s0 to s1 and s1 to s0 and if the input is 0 not of x then s0 to s0 and s1 to s1 i will explain you in the below okay so this is what the stimulus block initial begin repeat five times we are using at the rate passage of the clock and just we are you know assigning some stimulus to the reset and input so first we are making the reset is i and input is zero so any where reset is there it will be in the s0 state and so on we are using repeat blocks five times over at every passage of the clock we are making reset high and low and so on now here i am using cover group cg at the rate passage of the clock remember we already had a discussion about this we are using this always at the rate passage of the clock as a clocking given pulse now option dot for instance is equal to what in order to get the detail analysis of our coverage and the bin so now here i am writing a cover point for reset input x and output y so as reset is of 1 bit 2 raised to power 1 will be 2 okay so for that we are writing two explicit bins over here to cover 0 and 1 similarly for x input we are writing here high okay when the input is high we are writing a cover point for that and the y is also two bit so for that to check the y we are writing two bins explicit now here the interesting point is that we are we are making use one cover cover group cg for checking the input is equal to 1 and we are writing the cover point for the present state in that we are checking if input is 1 then how the transition is happening from between states okay so let me show you the diagram over here as you remember if the input is 1 then the states from where to where states are changing so let's take an example if input is 1 then the states we are considering is s0 and s1 s so s as 0 to s1 transition is happening and s1 to s0 transition is happening so as you can see if the input is 1 so s0 this input is 1 right so s0 to s1 transition is happening and input is 1 so s1 to s0 transition is happening so for that we are using the transition bins of it let me tell you one thing if you are uh, writing a transition bins we have to use this parenthesis construct to define okay so let me show you how we are writing the transition bins when the input is high okay so input is high we are interested the transition is happening from s0 to s1 and s1 to s0 so dut dot present state bins transition you can give any name okay? transition bin s0 to s1 and s1 to s0 just we have looked at is equal to when the parenthesis we have to write dut dot s0 is equal to and greater than symbol dut dot s1 meaning s0 to s1 transition is happening when the input is high similarly for s1 to s0 transition is happening when the input is high now here we are make using of the cross you know, construct so input x and the present state we are making the cross between these two now in the another cover group we are interested to check the transition between fsm between the state of that fsm fsm if the input is low okay so how 
how to make use of this here we will use that and the another cover group cg1 at the rate passage of the clock event now clock as an event for us here option dot for instance is equal to one we are seeing cover point for this x when the input is zero right and here if the input is zero we are checking the transition between fsm is happening from s0 to s0 and s1 to s1 so as you can see when input is zero transition is happening between s0 to s0 and s1 to s1 right in the same state it is uh, you know transit doing the transition meaning it will be in same state okay when the input is low so for that we are writing the bins as 0 to as 0 you can give any name is equal to as 0 to transaction is happening in the 0 so right? similarly for s1 to s1 and we are making use of cross between the input and the present state okay. now here we are defining the instances for the cover group which we have already defined and within initial begin block allocating memory for them and here I am uh, using uh, you know suspending the simulation after 1500 and if you want to see the go form you can make use of this initial begin block dump file within parenthesis dump dot vcd in the address. and this is for the end model tbfs so if you just run this code what we want we are interested to see the transition between s0 to s1 and s1 to s0 when the input is 0 and the input is 1 it is very interesting so let me run this code and we'll see the output if you run this code you'll find something some interesting results over here so first as you can see over here we are writing the reset explicit bin for the reset so if you just analyze it if you just uh, look at this cg okay this is what the cover group for us cg in that we are writing two bins explicit bins to cover zero and one for this reset you can find reset low reset high and those are hitting multiple times we are getting the hundred percent code similarly for x as you can see the x is high over here which is also hitting multiple times similarly for y y zero and y high means one we are getting the hundred percent code now here we are taking the transition between you know when the input is high meaning the input is one then the transition is happening from s0 to s1 and s0 to s1 and s1 to s0 right so as you can see transition from s0 to s1 and s1 to s0 both are getting multiple times that's why we are, that's why we are getting 100 percent now if you do the cross between the input and the ut dot present state you can find find the input is high right? and the transition is happening from s0 to s1 then the input is another time you know the input is high the transition is happening s0 to s1 and s1 to s0 and this it is you know, hitting multiple times that's why we are getting 100 percent now let me show you another cover group so inside this cover group cg1 we are defining the cover point for the input when the input is low okay as you can see the input is low it is hitting 90 times right? and here we are interested to see the transition when the input is low to start so the transition is happening between s0 to s0 and s1 to s1 so as you can see transition is happening from s0 to s1 this you know, present state we are changing we are we are looking at the present state how the transition is happening between the states and the cross between this input and the present state so input is low transition is happening from s0 to s0 and s1 to s1 and so on so this is what the concept of transition means remember while we are using transition bins we have to use this parenthesis but for uh, you know other bins we have to use early releases now the assignment for you here first assignment make use uh, make the changes in the same fsm to work with the negatives of the clock you can make the some necessary changes in the dut and you can write the you know, simple test bench for that as well as this coverage model for that and try to analyze the result now the second assignment for you 
is here. I have already written a code for the another application which has three steps and zero is valid. Already I have written a code in system very log HD. You can make use of the same code and uh, you can write the you know simple test bench for this and try to write a coverage model okay, so that you will have the clear understanding of this transition. I will put the link in the description. Please go through the links and uh, try to do this assignment so that you will easily understand the concept. Of and if you are finding any difficulty, you can put the comments in the comment section. We will discuss it. Okay. So with this, I hope you have understood the concept of transition bins and how to make use of this transition bins with the help of simple episode. And also, I hope you have enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching. Thank you.